welcome. Uh, my name is Peter Dorich and I'm the vehicle chief engineer at Saab, responsible for all development programs at Saab Engineering. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the 9.5 sport wagon and uh, give you some highlights about some features where I believe we stand on competitiveness and so on. Uh, this is a natural uh, development from the 9.5 sedan, which come with a sport wagon. Uh, we wanted to introduce more or less the same flexibility that we have the 9.4X utility, so to say. Uh, that we have a rear compartment that is useful, especially useful in the daily, the daily life, so to say. So we have the U-Rail and the organizer in it here, as we have in the 9.4X, as we have in the 9.5 sedan. We have also and the core storage which I took along with the concept I developed the 94X and then the, proposed to do the same thing here and even develop that concept in the 95 sport wagon uh, we wanted to put somewhere where you could put your groceries we have two hooks to organize the handles so you put your load into the floor here you tie up the handles and your grocery stays in the bag and are in place when you come home and you easily take them and unload. We also further developed this here to be even more flexible, so to say. We introduced the wet storage, which we feel is also a very practical uh, thing to have. It's uh, more or less a, a plastic bowl, which you can easily take out. Many people are active today in the, in the woods and they don't want to mess up the compartment when they go in. So they have, you have this ball to put your boots. If they are dirty, you can take them off, put them in, you take your slippers on, you go into the car and then all the mess stays there. When you come home, you take it out and you can just rinse it off with water and it's nice to have again. You can also use it for all other stuff. In the US, they would say, I will fill it with ice and put my beer in it. <laughs> so uh, there's, there's loads of opportunities to do that. But the whole concept is the same as 94X, where we the rear compartment is for usage, daily usage. The forward con compartment is where we have our repair kits and stuff like that. So stuff that you rarely need, but you have to have with you. So uh, with needle handling, uh, you can actually reach that as well. Uh, we also want to have I, will, I was, well, it's very important for me to have a home for this. I don't want it to, when you don't use it, it should be, it should be a home for it where you can actually put it down. And then, as we did in the 94X, we put, we made a hole for it, and you can easily attach it. Like that, and that you can just hold it down. And you have it with you when you need it, but it also has a place where you can store it, so to say. Uh, <coughs> we have multiple, we have a storage here on the side where you can put your first aid kit if you want or other stuff like washer, shampoo and stuff like that where you want to wash your car. We have also additional integrated hooks here where you can also, so, so it's fully useful for a lot of different situations. Uh, what could you expect more from a, 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 a West Sport Wagon? Uh, car in this class should also be very quiet in the, in the rear. So I have uh, personally met Robert Pauline, from, uh, the journalist here, which was in the Swedish television one morning saying, you know, Saab is as good as Volvo, as good as an Audi, as good as a BMW. But unfortunately, that is not good enough. 
they have to be better only because they have some business difficulties. And I promised them when we did that we're, we're going to provide better products than our competition. And this is the first one here out, I would say, uh, from that statement, where we have a better flexible offer than Volvo and Audi. We are more quiet in the rear. The noise level in the rear seat is really comfortable. It's better than Audi, it's better than Volvo. Actual measurements in disability. So we think we have a really good offer, which is quiet and flexible here, so to say. And of course, as all modern cars today, we provide also a power tailgate, which makes things even easier when you come to your car and you can just push the button and uh, it will open and you can put your groceries in place. Otherwise, the rest of the car is the 9.5 sedan with all the features that come along with that and the offer, so to say. So, and this vehicle is actually one of our test vehicles that we have had, uh, built somewhere around in February. We have used it a lot at engineering to do validation of the electrical system and those features coming along with that. There's, as we add systems in the rear to the electrical architecture, we have to go through extensive testing to make sure that there's no bugs left and stuff. A modern car today is more like a computer the problem is that the car customer does not accept the bug in the system, like a computer customer does. Computer customer rings, calls the help desk and says, you know, I have a bug. Go up on the web and find the solution, they say to him. That is not the way a car customer does exist. So there's extensive testing on the electrical system and a lot of miles to find, make sure that we get all the bugs out of the system. So when we've been using this vehicle as one of them uh, and, and uh, for those kind of testing, but we've also used it here, polished it up and, and show you, but some of the fits are not really uh, where they should be, supposed to be because it is part from first trial at the toolmaker, so to say. So body side comes from Spain and had the first trial last year at this time pressed dice, the first tools that comes out of it. They are good enough for us to do our validation and engineering, but they are far away from dimensional correct and, and to be representative. So at the moment we are waiting for the tools to be, to do some die trimming and then to do the final run in the factory. And we will have to do our final validation at SAAB and then we are ready for customer cars. So I would say, my guess is shortly into the new year, 2012, this vehicle will start to be running off the production line. Depending on the other main production comes comes along. So, but I will see. I don't know any closer information. I have some predictions and our, we have some planning and so on program on doing this. Uh, but I surely would say, like to say that uh, we are, we have a very competitive offer, so to say, with this vehicle compared to the other brands out there. Any questions? Please come forward and have a look if you want to. Thank you.